Flaming hot macaroni and cheese. Yes, that is what we are creating today. Hello everyone, my name is Naomi Campbell. Welcome to Quali Pops. Let's get started. Now if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button and let me know what you want me to make next on quarantine cooking or whatever it is I'm doing on quarantine. I can't get a haircut, so I thought I'd try different hairstyles. And today we're gonna try the part in the middle. Like Sean from Boy Meets World. Oh, that was like the most bomb part I've ever seen on a guy. Stunning, huh? Oh, man. <laughs> so I wanted to cook dinner with you guys. And today for dinner, we're having macaroni and cheese. The taste you love, no artificial flavors, no artificial preservatives, and no artificial dyes. So all that orange, that's from orange juice. Did you know that? I wanted to plus this with some stuff, so I've got some ingredients that I found in my pantry, as well as some flaming Hot Cheetos. Is it right side up? Oh, wow, I'm getting better. So let's get started. Wow, that was good. So right off the bat, I need six cups of water, four tablespoons of margarine or butter, and one fourth cup of milk. Like I said, I wanted to plus this, so I'm adding flaming Hot Cheetos with lime. I didn't know that it said lime. <laughs> oh, this might not taste the way that I want it to. <laughs> I'm also adding some pepper jack cheese that I had, some ham that I found in my freezer, and the rest of this Alfredo sauce, roasted garlic. And then I'm just gonna cook it in ramekins. I thought they would be really cute if I served them in little ramekins. Hipsters would be all over this, you guys. So let's get started. First thing I have to do is boil my macaroni. All right, so while my water is boiling, I'm gonna ready some of my ingredients. First thing I'm gonna do is take my flaming hots, some of them anyways. Jiggle it into a bag, is that enough? And I'm just gonna crush it up. That is looking good. Right. So I'm gonna put this inside the macaroni and cheese as well as sprinkle it on top so that I have this like really nice crust. Next, I'm gonna grate some of my pepper jack cheese. I thought pepper jack would be really good, especially since this is gonna be a really sort of spicy type of macaroni and cheese. Let's add a little bit more. <laughs> Just to be safe, just to be on the safe side. Last, I'm gonna dice up some of this ham. And this is honey baked ham, I think. It's been in my freezer since Thanksgiving. <laughs> but it tastes good, I tried it already, so it's it's fine. I don't really know how to dice. Um, you know what I should do? I should probably pan fry this first, so that Get a little bit of color on them. We get some of that caramelization from the honey bake. How's that looking? Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna rough chop it. That's the only thing I needed to do. All right, so the water is boiling. I'm gonna add my pasta. And I'm gonna cook it for it says, seven to eight minutes. I'm gonna do six minutes, just because I know I'm gonna put it in the oven for a little bit. Now today I'm going to be highlighting organizations that are helping fight COVID-19 and helping people who are deeply affected by this virus. So if you can donate to these organizations or if you can donate time, then please do. Oh, look at it, it's done. It's done, it's done, it's done. I'm going to take this to the kitchen and I'm going to drain it because we're on set and there's no sink here. Our noodles are done over there. I'm going to start working on our ham. So we got some of this Thanksgiving ham going in. Oh, you know it. And I didn't add any oil because ham is really fatty. So I'm hoping that I can just use the oil from the ham. Oh, actually, you know what? We're supposed to add four tablespoons of butter. So I'm just gonna add that in here. Probably should have added it first, but I forgot about this step. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that's sizzling so well. That is spectacular. God, my arteries are clogging just smelling it. Am I stirring it too much? It's just because the smell is so good and I have nothing else to do. 
gonna let it sit for a little bit. Listen to the crackle. Okay, so our ham is nice and golden brown. I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of milk and just deglaze this pan. Now I wanna add a little bit more spice. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this, Alfredo sauce. <laughs> is this too gluttonous? Oh wow, this is gonna be yummy. Good, good, good. We're gonna stir that around. Oh, I've gotta add the packet. So we've gotta add the cheese packet. Should I add it all? That's pretty good. We're just gonna stir that up. This is a heart attack. I turned it off. Wow. Holy moly, this looks bomb. And we're gonna add all of our noodles. I wish I had real macaroni, because I think it would be better if I had real macaroni. But this is okay. Oh, I forgot to add. I forgot to add the main ingredient. And then we're just gonna sprinkle this. So we're gonna mix the hot Cheetos in first. And the last thing I'm gonna add is going to be pepper jack. I don't want, I just wanna fold this in just a little bit, right before I put it in the meramekin. That looks good. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper jack and then top it with some more. One done. Let's do the rest. Boom. So this is our macaroni and cheese so far. There's still a lot in the pan. I'm gonna put them in the broiler just for a minute so that the cheese on top gets very like ooey gooey. And then we taste. Let's do this. So right off the bat, you can tell that it didn't get as ooey gooey as I wanted it to. Maybe pepper jack isn't as melty a cheese as I thought it would. And I kept my eye on it and I saw that the hot Cheeto was already like starting to brown and burn. So I just took it out. Less than a minute and I took it out. But let's try it. It's so good. <laughs> Wow, wow. There's so much going on and it, it works so well. Oh my God, you get the saltiness of the ham, you get this little tingling of the flaming hot and then you get the crunch also from the crumbs on top. Now the thing that I don't like about this is what I don't like about Kraft macaroni and cheese. It's that it's not very creamy. So I really would like probably like a little bit of macaroni with my cheese, you know? Even though there's this very noticeable lack of creaminess, all of the other elements that I added to this macaroni and cheese, it just, they just give it life. And I thought the lime in the hot Cheetos was gonna be a problem, but it's not. Would you be okay with eating ham from Thanksgiving, even though it's March? But it's been in your freezer, you know? I am extremely happy creating dinners and quarantine food with you guys. It's the most creative I've been with food in a very long time. And it's so satisfying. Hi, so I just wanted to add something. I'm editing the video right now. I would make this again, but I would use the actual macaroni and cheese recipe that I make every time Thanksgiving rolls around. Um, and the second is, if you use mozzarella cheese or cheddar cheese, it'll melt so much better than the pepper jack that I'm using. The pepper jack did not melt at all. So if you want better results, use cheeses that melt better than pepper jack. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying home and staying safe. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace.